so this is a really nice example I like um, this is a uh, assembly code it's not real but um, I just put it here because this was a real example in one of the classes I, I taught um, people have been developing some uh, device and they are wrote um, uh, assembly code to it and uh, the problem was that the the, de the engineers changed uh, there are these registries R3 and uh, R1 and R2 and they re re replaced one or R1 to R2, R2 to R3 and R3 to R1 so all the code had to be changed and uh, so someone came and, and came by and said okay well let's write a simple Perl script and uh, did this so it took, um, I don't write the, the, the whole thing around it but the, the point was that they took line by line, went through the file and then replaced R1 with R4 and R3 is R1 and like we, they couldn't change R1 to R2 directly because then you wouldn't know what to do with the R2s which one is the old and which ones are new so they had to replace with R4 first and then uh, at the end the R4s went back to R2 and that worked nicely until the t phone actually broke because um, well after at, at some point they found out that actually there were R4s already so that wasn't a good idea to do this. So the, the solution could be that uh, instead of R4, which is some string that can be there, you just pick some string that really cannot be there uh, in and replace the first ones with those, but uh, this is still not robust enough. So we started to build something else uh, that looks like this. We created a, a hash, which is a mapping from the old string to the new one from r1 to r2 r2 is r3 r3 r2 r1 and then we wrote this regular expression and that's it so what's this regular expression well first of all it catches r and then after the r one of the digits now the beats around here especially this one is important because it turns out that there are also these r21s so you don't want to catch these r r this R2 part and replace that with something R3 and then it you can you actually uh, get R31 uh, so what you want to do is make sure that what you catch is really ending there and, and uh, you can't say that you want to have a comma after it because it might be on the right hand side of this part so you just say B it means that after the digit there shouldn't be any digits or letters it can be comma it can be the end of the code it can be a space but uh, and the same at the beginning though in our case uh, probably that's not important so this catches one of the r some things and then because it's in parentheses it will be in dollar one and then dollar one will contain the old string so we use the hash look up the value of that at, at the dollar one place and that's the v value of the new string so this lookup gives us the new string so this replacement using globally on the whole string at, at once on the whole file at once will replace all the appearance the right ones it's still not really the good solution because there is um, so now you have we have two things hard coded we have the mapping uh, but again we have to uh, we, we had to write this here which is not perfect because if at one point we would like to replace the mapping then we still have to change the, the regular expression as well so we came up with a different solution first of all this would be the solution well I put here an R12 as well just so you can see that it works with that instead of having an R and a character class we put in a within the parentheses we put just an alternation so we just list all the R's now that's what we are going to kill uh, prepare not we are not going to hard code this I'm just show, showing you what we are actually building so we are building a regular expression on the fly from the hash that will look like this and then it will replace uh, with the right uh, element from the hash how do we do build that we take the hash, fetch all the keys, and then join them together with pipes. So you get a string that is within the parentheses, and then the regular expression looks like this. So you put 
in backslash b and then within the parent is there is the reg x and that's it and you have a robust solution so only these two lines and the hash and then you can just replace anything in the hash here there's nothing that is related to, actu to the actual data.